The wall volleyball program is only eight years old, but it's quickly building a legacy. The Crimson Knights have won three straight division titles, and it's safe to say that a fourth one is on the way. That's because the 2015 edition of Wall has been pretty close to perfect. 11 regular season games, 11 straight victories, and unbeaten in 22 games. It used to be you'd hope that you can compete with some of the top teams in the shore, uh, and now all of a sudden over the years we've kind of become one. Coach Dan Leonard credits experience as a key to the success. Five returning starters, including Jessica Stansfield, who was a first-team all-shore selection as a junior. She wants to head to the sand and play beach volleyball in college, a new NCAA sport. Stansfield has a strong supporting cast. It's Wall's depth and ability to play as one unit that has the Crimson Knights off to an 11-0 start. I know all the girls well. Um, I know who's going to get what ball and who's going to get a good swing on what set. So it's... It's really helpful when you're on the court versus playing with people you don't really know that well. We're all so close on and off the court, and we don't really have a standout player this year, which I think is our biggest asset. Playing other teams, they're not watching one person. They're kind of watching everybody. There are seven regular season games to go, and Wall won't look past any opponent. But the Crimson Knights are clearly honed in on one major goal, capturing its first ever short conference tournament title. It'd definitely be awesome. I like... It's hard to think about because it's such a long ways away, but I can't help but think about it. For our grade to do it and also win the division would just be unbelievable and be a new high in the program. They work hard during the season. They work hard in the off season, And, um, I mean, you could tell by the banner, it's, that's, you know, a product of our work. For more Jersey Shore sports, log on to shoresportzone.com.